before I get to that actual area, what I'd like to show you is how this gets set up uh, in terms of the document management connection between CRM and SharePoint. A lot of clients don't know about this, so if you are a CRM client and this is an area of interest that you would have moving forward, we'd be happy to work with you regarding that and helping you set up this connection between a SharePoint deployment and, um, and your CRM deployment. So inside of um, CRM, there's an area called document management, and you can get to it through the settings there. learned about is the fact that if you have, let's say, an externally facing share, uh, CRM deployment, and it would be in a uh, SSL certificate, so you go to HTTPS, the S being the SSL. Um, if you had that deployment, then your SharePoint deployment has to be the same. So you have to have HTTPS in both or HTTP in both. It can't be a mixture of them. It won't recognize um, between the two different systems. Um, if there is an issue with that, we can go all, go ahead and um, and help you out fix that so that you can get the systems talking to each other. It's really not that big of a deal. So once you come into the document um, management area, you can set up your connection between your SharePoint deployment. And then once the user is inside of CRM, it's easy to get to that area. And I'll show you where that is now. So if we go back to our sales area in our accounts, I have a company called All About Bikes. So one of our salespeople goes in, <clears throat> meets with Chris Johnson at this uh, location, says, hi, Chris, how you doing? Um, my name's Brett. And I'd like to show you uh, some of our literature about our frames and wheels. As, as the conversation goes, um, he finds out about Chris a little bit more. Chris really has an interest in the frames, but doesn't really have an interest in wheels. So he can come down here and see the product interest and say, yes, I have an interest in frames. No, I don't have an interest in wheels. Pretty straightforward so far. That's the two product lines that they sell. That's really all that the salesperson has to do for this process to work. Once that's done, they can come over to Documents. What this will do is it'll tell me, hey, I'd like to create this location over in your SharePoint site. I say, OK. What it's doing right now is it's building a folder structure inside of a SharePoint document library specifically for the All About, All About Bikes uh, company. And you can see here what it did is it automatically created three different uh, sales documents for me. One of which is the frame sales literature, which the salesperson would then walk through with Chris at this location. The Socius bike frames, and that's a PowerPoint print presentation. Um, that would go through all of the different areas, so the low-end bike frames, the middle-tier bike frames, and the high-end bike frames. So you're controlling what the salesperson was telling or talking to the manager or the owner of the shop. And um, we also have this welcome letter that could be then automated in the process where it would be sent out automatically to Chris as the contact, uh, saying thank you very much for the visit. Um, we're pleased to present, you know, our frames to you. Here's additional information. So you could really and that's because if you go back, if we go back to the uh, general information, I chose just the frames here and not the wheels. If I came in and there was interest in both, it would create six documents, um, three for the frames, three for the um, wheel set, and we would have then six documents that the salesperson go through. And like um, as well is if we just had the wheels, uh, interest in wheels, not in the frames, then I would just create the wheels. So we're really controlling what documents get put into that uh, folder initially. And the way that we're doing that is if we go back or if we go over into SharePoint, I have a CRM templates area and I have six documents in here and what it's doing is it's picking up the fact that there are 
um, the wheels literature. You can see the product line here. I have frames and wheels identified. So the sales manager then had a dynamic ability to add additional items into the process. And all they had to do is tag it with a product line to say um, frames or wheels. That's all they had to do. And then their additional literature would show up when they created a new account inside of CRM. So if I went through the entire process again, um, you can see now all about bikes, I can see that information from inside of SharePoint as well. So I can see it from inside of my CRM library here. I can see the documents. I can do things with the documents. I could add documents here. But it really gives me control around that. We can build additional structures around this. It, it wouldn't just have to be uh, literally. Um, so we really can kind of extend the process, not just create a document library where users can put documents, but actually extend the process where we're helping you out with your sales process or any other process that gets extended from CRM into SharePoint. So just to go back over all of those items that we took a look at, We looked at a particular area inside of CRM. We have two basic fields, interest in wheels, interest in frames. You could add any additional fields. We could take a look at that uh, in your environment to see whether or not we want to create documents um, or do some other process inside of SharePoint. Once we went um, and checked that, to say which area of interest they had, then we created a new account, All About Bikes. We looked at our CRM templates where the sales manager had better control about what information was inside. If one of those templates got updated by the account or the sales manager in terms of the content inside, it would also update the information inside um, the new account as it got created. Our all About Bikes then has their literature that they're associated to that company. And as that literature gets used and updated, it's all connected. It's useful inside of CRM. It's also useful inside of SharePoint, where we can go in and take a look at it. And it's also searchable inside of SharePoint. So we can go into SharePoint and say, I want to find a document um, regarding frames welcome letter uh, all about bikes, and we can find a specific information about that. So it's intellectual property capturing as well. <laughs>